Welcome fellow hunters, it's me, Kyore, bringing you another Hunt Showdowns video. Uh, in this one, we'll be going over the best traits to have as a solo hunter in-game, but before we do jump into it, I just want to say if you do enjoy the video, be sure to smash that like and subscribe button to help push this content out to more viewers like yourselves. And also, we are trying to reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year, so uh, let's make that possible. Anyways, enough messing about, let's get into this. This one has to be a priority for any solo player. This perk is now a crazy part of the new solo self-revive meta in Hunt Showdown, where upon dying, you will be able to revive yourself after 7 seconds. After getting back up, you will lose 50 health, allowing you to die and get back up a few times. Now, the interesting part is that most people don't trap you once they've killed you. They'll just simply run off and carry on with the objective, but little do they know, you can self-revive and you can potentially kill them from behind or at least, you know, carry on with the game. Arguably one of the best and most hated traits in game, fanning allows you to fire single action pistols in quick succession, making pistols like the Coldwell conversion chain into a machine gun that is capable of firing 17 shots without needing to reload. Now, it does, however, come at a cost of being pretty inaccurate, so make sure you're nice and close to the target before you start shooting. This perk makes going up against duos and even trios that much easier as you're able to fire a lot of bullets in a small amount of time, catching most hunters off guard with little to no way to counter this amazing trait. So, for most hunters who go into the game as a solo, you'll probably want to stay as quiet as possible and keep out of the sight of uh, enemy hunters. This is where the serpent trait really comes in handy. So... The trait allows you to pick up bounties, interact with clues, and even banish the bosses from a safe distance of up to 50 meters away. I don't need to tell you how handy this comes in. You don't need to go into an exposed compound for boss clues. Once you've found the boss and you've killed it, you can head outside uh, at a safe distance and start banishing it far away from any enemy hunters looking to steal that bounty away from you. And the part I love the most is you can safely take the bounty from a location of 50 meters away from the target and run like hell to the extract. Not to mention, you can pull what I like to call the Kill Row Special, in which you third party two enemy teams and you snatch the bounty up before they even know it's missing and you just run like the wind to the extract. Now, Doctor is pretty straightforward. It simply allows you to double the amount of health that a bandage will give you, essentially fully healing you with one single bandage. Now, I don't really need to explain why this is such a good perk because anyone who has played Hunt Showdown Showdowns know how often and how easily your hunter gets hurt. It also works hand in hand with another trait called Physician, but we'll get into that one later. Conduit is another solid trait for any solo player. You get a health and stamina boost when picking up clues and bounties. Now, I'm not too bothered about the health boost. I'm all about the 5 minute stamina buff that stacks with each boss clue you pick up, so you don't have to waste any inventory space on stamina shots. Now, stamina is a huge part of the game, and not needing to worry about, it, um, about stamina running out in the middle of a melee fight, or even when you're fighting the boss, is a big plus in my book. So this trait is pretty straightforward. It reduces the time it takes your hunter to use bandages. Now, this is where the doctor trait and the physician work hand in hand. So when running both of these traits on a hunter, you will double the amount of health from a bandage whilst reducing the time it takes to actually heal. Now, this comes especially in handy when in the middle of a fight. Most of the time in a gunfight, if you get hit, um, the enemy player or players will actually rush you because you're wounded. So being able to fully heal as quickly as possible is, a, is huge and gives you a fighting chance that you probably wouldn't have without these traits. Now, as good as these traits are, it just it's just as quick to use a vitality shot to fully heal, but I guess if you don't really have any of them left, these traits will come in clutch. So because this is a solo trait video, I'm using perks that would work hand in hand with one another. So Resilience has made it onto this list because you need to use this trait with Necromancer. If you're down and you use self-revive using Necro, this trait will revive your hunter with full health. Now Without this trait, you will probably be an instant one-shot to pretty much every bullet in the game. So for three trait points, it's a small price to pay, reviving at 100 health rather than the alternative. For only one upgrade point, you can get yourself a crazy useful trait. Magpie is another must-have solo trait, doubling the amount of dark sight you have after picking up a bounty, which I will add real quick should have always been 10 seconds regardless of this perk because you're automatically at a disadvantage compared to duos and trios who get like five seconds each, so 10 seconds. But anyway, moving on, on top of doubling, doubling your dark sight, you will always get five minutes of extra stamina and two and a half minutes of both health regeneration and poison resistance once you've picked up the bounty. This perk is so goddamn useful for every solo hunter. Those extra buffs at end game are a lifesaver, not to mention the increase in your dark sight ability it lets you see enemy hunters for way longer, giving you a fighting chance if being pushed by an enemy team. 
So as a solo hunter, you are automatically at a disadvantage compared to teams of two or even three. So I think it's wise to try and keep as quiet as possible when you can. This is why Silent Killer made this list. This trait reduces the sound a melee attack makes, which comes super in handy, especially because you're going to be taking out a lot of grunts and other baddies throughout the game. Another added benefit is that if you're trying to uh, if you're trying to silently approach an enemy team during the banishing of a boss, taking out the surrounding mobs won't give you position away. So Hunt Showdown's maps are pretty big and filled with countless objects and buildings that you may need to jump from or even scale using the provided ladders. Now this is where Lightfoot comes in handy. Lightfoot allows your hunter to vault, jump, fall, and climb ladders silently, making this super useful to have. The element of surprise is a good thing to have, especially as a solo. So being able to run around without making crazy amounts of noise is pretty important, I think. Um, this perk also allows you to sneak up on enemies hiding in buildings or even make fast, effective rotates uh, to get a better shot on your enemies. And all the while being silent is a pretty great ability to have in Hunt Showdowns, I reckon. So uh, yeah, light foot. Alrighty guys, that's it for our solo trait guide in Hunt Showdowns. If you enjoyed, be sure to smash that like button. And if you agree or you have any other great solo traits, be sure to let us all know in the comment section down below. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on so you never miss another upload for the channel. And until next time, guys, take it easy. Peace.